So 3-5, this should be a repeat from last year, so shouldn't be anything really new and crazy exciting. I want to throw this first part kind of in front of you. This is going to come up more in geometry, but basically if you have something equals itself, do you agree I could multiply both sides by 2 and it's still equal? Yeah. Yep. Um, or I can multiply both sides by 7 and it still would be equal. But if you have something that's equal, kind of like A equals B, if you multiply by the same thing, it's still going to be equal. And that's going to come up more in geometry class. Could I divide both sides by the same thing? Could I divide both sides by 2? Yes. And this will be equal? Because dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 over? Sure. One, the, the number. The, the if you want half my age, you could divide it by 2, or you could multiply it by? 5. That'd make me really old. That'd make you 10. If you want half of my age, you could multiply it by 0.5, or 1 half. Yep. So dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by 1 over that number. Thanks for shutting the door. Um, so really this applies then. It says multiplication, but you could divide both sides by the same thing and it still would be equal to. Yes? yes? Coefficient. A coefficient is the number, anyone remember this in front? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the the yes, of a variable, nice. Yeah, that's what I meant. The big, big, big. So a number in front of a variable. So this number right here, positive 3 or negative 3, this number here is a positive 3. That's going to be my x coefficient. If it's a positive, we don't have to put the plus in front. We don't have to put that there. Uh, and then the positive 7 right here is my y coefficient. See if you guys will fall from my diabolical trap. Um, this next one, my x coefficient for the next one is 2. My y coefficient is? It's not 4, it's negative 4. And you could argue I didn't entirely train you for that, but if we have this minus 4y, you could say that's the same as plus a negative 4. It's kind of like that 4 is a negative. So pay attention to the sign in front. This 2 has no sign in front, so you can assume it's a plus. If it was a minus 2, a negative 2, they'd have to write it in. Are we okay for the y? The y coefficient is negative 4? Mm -hmm. And easy to miss that one. Okay, solving for a variable. So this is the part that's review. Um, so same as yesterday's notes. If you're solving for a variable, look at what was done to the variable and do the inverse. Inverse is the official math word. But you may want to write opposite above it. So the opposite operation to nice, both sides. Because if you multiply one side by 2, you have to multiply the other side by 2 to make it equal. Um, and so I just have four examples, and then we are done. Yes! It's kind of a bummer. You know, you want more math excitement than that. But wait, there's the homework. Okay. Um, <laughs> 7x. What sign could you put right between the 7 and the x? Perfect. It's really 7 times x. So if they multiplied by 7, the inverse of multiplication is... Division. Division. So we're going to divide both sides by 7. When we do that, we get x equals 6. But like I said earlier, finding the 6 isn't really the goal. It's that I'm looking for this process. So in the homework, I'm looking for write down the question, write down what you did to both sides, write down the answer. So where it says down here 7 to 26, SWFC, I'm looking for you to show your work for credit. Um, so, so yep, do something just like that. The second example over here, it's negative 2 times x equals 154. Divide by? We want to get x by itself. What they do to x, Kai is probably telling Haley that they multiply by negative 2. So the inverse of multiplying by negative 2 is 2. Yep. And dividing by the negative gets rid of the negative up above. Dividing by the 2 gets rid of the 2 up above, so we're kind of canceling those out. But if I do that to the left, I have to do it to the right. So I'm left with just an x. Negative 77. Nice, negative 77, the final answer. Good. You'll notice these next two are the same. There's two ways to do them. Because there's two ways to do them. One way, let's say we want to get x by itself over here. We have one-third times x. How do we get rid of the one-third? Divide by, by one-third. Yep, divide by one-third. 
And you either need to put it in parentheses like this or know how to use the fraction key on your calculator. Did you guys learn that last year? Should I go over it? Okay. Well, so if I divide by one third, I get x by itself. And x is going to be 126. By the way, what I should have been doing for all these, and if you're taking the test especially, and you want to make sure that you don't have to do all kinds of practice sheets, um, one thing that you could do is take this 126 and put it right in here for x. So you could do 1 third times 126 and punch that into your calculator. It should give you a 42. If it does, then you know your answer is correct, right? Yep. If you do something different, then you know your answer is wrong. Make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Then um, oh, yeah. so that's one way to do it. If you're looking for your fraction key at probably most calculators, there's one that does an A, B, slash C like that. Um, so if you wanted to go over typing it in, you could say 42, and then do your divided by symbol, and then 1, your little fraction key, A, B, slash C, and then a 3 and then do your equals. That should give you 126. Here's a different way to look at it. This question here, you could look at this as though it's really just, do you agree it's 1x divided by 3? Can I convince you of that? Yeah, because it's just... Equals 42. So it's kind of like 1 third times x over 1, so it's really just an x over 3. If I want to get rid of the 3, how do I get rid of the 3? Divided by three. Well, they divided by 3, so how do I undo? Perfect. Yeah, that it's x, they divided by 3, so when you do the inverse of dividing by 3, we multiply by 3. Those drop out, and we're left with x by itself equals 126 again. And the reason that works, and the reason it gives you the same answer for both of them, is if you think back to the good old days where we were doing a unit on, on fractions, if you have something divided by a fraction, that's the same as saying 42 times. Anybody remember what you do to the denominator? Dividing by the fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. reciprocal. Heard it from over on the left side. So 42 divided by 1 third is the same as 42 times 3 or times 3 over 1, which is why you get the same answer either way. Then go ahead, get started on the homework. And for these here, the 7 to 26, please, 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 show those three lines, your original thing, what you do to both sides, and your answer. Show that for all of them. So I can give you full credit.